Welcome everyone. I am Shopta Purnide from Biolive. Hope all of you are doing very well. So today we are going to discuss about types of biological data. Now, before knowing that, let's take a look what are variables. Variable is a characteristic that differ from one entity to another. Okay. Uh, like say uh, weight, height, length these are all the variables which differ from one entity to another okay and it is generally observed counted or measured and takes up a number of continuous or discrete value okay it may have a distinct certain or discrete value like 1 2 3 4 okay or it may have a continuous value like 50.15 50.151 50.152 and so on okay so these are the variables now how many types of variables can be there there are four types of variables major variables and we can classify them in two major groups one is quantitative or numerical group and another one is categorical data now, quantitative or numerical group or data from name, it is uh, evident that these data are actually measured. Okay, they, they are quantified. Whereas categorical data are some kind of qualitative data. That means these data are not measured. They are actually counted. Okay, now coming to the quantitative or numerical data. Under this type, we can get two other types. What are those? ratio data and interval data okay now let's talk about ratio data see ratio data or ratio variables have constant size interval between adjacent values then it has existence of meaningful zero point on the measurement scale and last but not the least numerical relationship between the numbers is meaningful what does these three statement means Let's take a look. Okay. What are the examples? If we go through the example, we will get clear. Okay. What are these statements are meaning? So first example is number of leaves per plant. It could be 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. So see, they have constant size interval. Why it is uh, called? Because the difference between 50 and 60 is equal to the difference between 90 and 100. So there is a constant size interval between the adjacent values. Now, there is a meaningful zero point on the measurement scale. Obviously, if there is zero leaves, that means there is no leaf. That is a, a meaningful zero point on the measurement scale. And third one, the numerical relationship between the numbers is meaningful. Obviously, if there are 50 leaves in a plant and in another plant there is 100 leaves, that means th there are twice time leaves in the second plant than the first plant. Okay, so 50 is half of 100 or we can also say 100 is 2 times than 50. So, there is a numerical relationship between the values. Okay. Similarly, other examples could be weight or height of a person. Okay. So, these are the ratio data or ratio variables. Now, coming to the interval data or interval, interval variables. What are those? See, these have two characteristics. One is they also have a constant size interval between the adjacent values. But there is no meaningful zero point. Okay. That means zero is arbitrary. How? So, this is the difference between uh, ratio and interval data. Presence of a meaningful zero or not. Okay. So, temperature which is measured in degree, uh, degree Celsius or degree of Fahrenheit is an interval data. How? See, the uh, distance between 50 degree and 55 degree is 5 degree. Same. Uh, on the other hand, the distance between 60 and 65 is also 5 degrees. So, there is constant size interval, okay, between the adjacent values. But is there a meaningful zero point? Zero degree Celsius or zero degree Fahrenheit does not mean it is a complete zero, okay. It 
it has also some kind of temperature okay so zero is not meaningful here it is arbitrary zero degree temperature is also a temperature but zero leaves zero number of leaves is not any kind of leaf okay so zero is here arbitrary so that is why this data is known as interval data where zero is not meaningful or it is arbitrary Next, coming to the categorical data, that means the data that are not measured, rather those are counted. Now, first one is ordinal data. From the name, it is clear that there is some kind of order or ranking system, and this ranking system or order is based on relative difference, not the quantitative difference. Okay, so it is based on relative difference, not on the quantitative difference. That is why it is not under the quantitative variable. Okay, and as a result, it is less informative. It is less informative than ratio or interval data. because there is no uh, no uh, information regarding quantitative difference and it is usually measured in likert scale and the distance between the orders may or may not be same okay so let's take an example so if i ask you how often do you exercise your answer could be never rarely sometimes or always so these are the orders okay and these orders are based on relative difference not on the quantitative difference okay and obviously the distance between never and rarely will not be same as the sometimes distance between sometimes and always okay so distance may or may not be same now second example is number to grade grade is the second example sometimes we can also uh, we can also convert ratio data or interval data into ordinal data like the number students have scored in the examination can be classified according to the order into grade okay so let's take an example the number from 980 to 90 is under a plus grade then 70 to 80 is under a grade 60 to 70 is under b grade and 50 to 60 is under c grade so here the distances are same but here we have arranged the numbers the interval data or the ratio data uh, into some kind of order so it is the grading system is an ordinal data or ordinal variables okay now coming to the nominal data from the name it is clear that these are the named variables okay nominal means name so these are the named variables now these variables are classified by some qualitative measure that it possesses rather than by a numerical measurement so it is classified nominal data or nominal variables are classified according to their qualitative measure okay not by any numerical measurement and as a result they are actually known as attributes not the variables what are the examples for example blood group a b a b or o these are uh, these are named according to the sugar moieties present on the rbc membrane okay so these are uh, named according to their quality not according to their quantity okay similarly gender male or female different genotypic uh, uh, genetic parameters genetic phenotypes like eye colors of drosophila species uh, these are the nominal data okay so these are characterized according to their qualitative measure not according to their numerical measurement so these they are also known as attributes now these four are the main classification of variables or data biological data now coming to other two types those are continuous data and discrete data so continuous data or continuous variables are those variables which could have any or infinite conceivable conceivable number of values within any observed range okay what are that let's take let's say uh the height uh height is 50 or 51 cm so obviously there will be 
innumerable numbers infinite numbers between this range 50 to 51 that could be 50.9 50.99 50.998 and so on okay so between 50 and 51 there could be infinite number any conceivable values okay so that is why height is a continuous data or continuous variable because it can take up any value any infinite value it could be an integer it could be an a fraction or anything okay but in case of discrete data or discrete variable which is also known as discontinuous variable the variables could only take up a certain value and that would also be an integer for example if anyone ask you what are the number of leaves in a plant you will say it is 4 5 6 500 600 but you will never say it is 10.7 55.7 so obviously there will be a certain value not a continuous value there will be obviously discrete or certain value and it will obviously be in integer similarly if anyone ask you what is the number of students in a class you will uh, you, you will say 10 20 30 but never 10.1 10.5 10.77 etc so there will be a discrete or certain value now coming to the last part always remember that nominal data by their nature are discrete data or discrete value whereas ordinal ratio or interval data can can be continuous or discrete variable okay so this is all about types of biological data and there are examples. I hope this video will be useful for you. And now the concept is crystal clear. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning.